Hey there, folks. We are doing a uh, Superpowers Batmobile review. Of course, uh, these are the Superpowers Batman and Robin here, and in the background is the Batmobile. So we will get a little closer to the Batmobile here, and we do have it on a turnstile, so I don't have to maneuver this phone around. And as you can see, I actually did uh, create a uh, similar version of this actual um, toy into the comic book. And uh, for a while there. And it uh, wasn't really based on the Super, or excuse me, the uh, Super Friends. It was based on the cartoon, obviously. Uh, I love superheroes, but the cartoon was uh, set up to uh, sell toys, which, of course, I bought. I got this toy in 1984 for Christmas, Christmas of 1984, uh, first uh, Christmas that my wife and I had together. And if you look at the box, the box is pretty unique. It shows, of course... Joker getting his uh, butt hit with the battle ram, and it shows our heroes in there having a good time doing that. And uh, if you turn it around, it kind of gives you a little more insight into what what can happen here. So, uh, pretty unique here in the fact that uh, um, there's a uh, there's three controls in the cockpit. And this one here, the front one, the yellow one here, activates the lights or the eyes, the bad eyes. So it kind of gives you the effect that uh, uh, the Batmobile has actually come to life. And then, of course, you pull it back out and so they change. And the front, uh, the front effect, of course, is, we'll uh, go ahead and... that back. I'm sure a lot of this stuff hasn't really been moved in in quite a long time, so <clears throat> my voice is uh, shot, so anyway, yeah. And uh, so, moving right along, we'll uh, check out the battle ram here. The battle ram, of course, you can hear that. And then, of course, you just reset it by pulling the we get back in, and that mechanism <clears throat> is uh, actually uh, this one right here. So, kind of pops out. And uh, there we go. There's the light. So, there's the effect. And, of course, you just push it back into place. There we go. And the lights are, of course, on again. And now I've just turned them off. Now the the other thing is is this uh, little interesting button right here, and uh, that's a little uh, function here uh, that we're going to have uh, Brainiac here um, is going to show us how this works because he's kind of like the, one of the tallest figures that we have here, and he he can sit here and just be kind of inconspicuous. And then we just go ahead and pull that trap trigger, and uh, he's probably going to go flying now, so uh, I don't want him to break. So I'll just show you how the trap works. Trap door works here. And uh, I'm going to bring this out a little bit. There we go. And it just kind of punched, pops out. Now, what pops out is uh, obviously it comes out and grabs a figure. In fact, uh, push it back into place, and we got. I don't have three arms here, so I can't do it with Robin, but, uh, yeah, um, I was going to have Robin uh, show us, but again, we'll push down the button, and it comes out, so this Batmobile is kind of unique in the fact that uh, it's very colorful, uh, amber bullet shields, and just a really neat... Um, Batmobile, and I still have it in its original box, obviously, and I try to take good care of it. <clears throat> but uh, my uh, passion at one time was uh, to actually 
hoped that someday I could display it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, even at the libraries nowadays, uh, people hide out in libraries and uh, they wait till everybody else goes home and then they break into display cases and that's, uh, that's happened. So anyway, um, I think pretty much what everybody kind of likes to see right now is, uh, let's put uh, that man in. Got to make sure that the, put his cape out. Okay, he's in there. And then Robin. Put Robin in there. Robin likes to uh, wave, if you hadn't noticed. So, and that's how you kind of do it. So they're ready to they're ready to rumble. They're ready for some uh, Joker action. And that's the scene we like to see. Batman and Robin going to the scene of the crime, ready to kick the crap out of somebody, and pull enough evidence for it to stick. So. Rrrr.